All right, welcome, uh, Bobby. Uh, when did we first meet? Some years ago. Like 2010, 2011 was the first time we actually had a conversation and, and you were just starting with Optimal EFT um, and you introduced me to it at the end of something we were working on. As a matter of fact, numb hands back then. And yeah. um, there was some tension I was feeling and I literally felt it just like let go. And I asked you, what are you doing? And that you said, I'm working on something. So. Well, I, I was using what we are now calling conversational EFT. I was bringing unseen therapist in. But anyway, um, you've had a number of, of improvements in your, own, in your own life. We're going to focus on two of them, numbness in your hands yes. and chronic bronchial asthma. Why don't yes. you take a moment and talk about how severe those were before we ever started doing anything with unseen therapist? Uh, well, the numbness in my hands started about um, late 80s, 80, 1988, 89, and I was a graphic artist back then, which did, you had to use your hands to draw. That was before computers, and everything had to draw, um, and it ended up, I had to stop working in that field because I couldn't use my hands anymore. I couldn't feel the pencil. I couldn't feel the devices that I had to use, and then um, it was continual. Um, and back then it was considered carpal tunnel syndrome and I just thought there was something else to it so I never had the surgery never went down that road but say in recent years it probably affected me 60 to 70 percent of my time and when I was driving uh, when I drove my hands would be so numb I couldn't feel the steering wheel now I still had grip but I couldn't feel the steering wheel and it kind of concerned me I didn't drive as much because of that, I mean, when you can't feel what you're supposed to be doing, it was very concerning. So, you know, I couldn't write anymore. You know, when I used to like to write letters and things. I couldn't do that anymore. So it, it affected a lot of what I did with my hands. I could do some general things, but after a while I couldn't feel my hands, so I wouldn't be able to do them. So that was the numbness in my hands and how um, it, was, it was pretty severe, I would say. And the chronic bronchial asthma, I've had that since the 1970s or had that I should say and that was um, kind of periodic but when it came on it was almost like you were choking to death because you were you couldn't you couldn't get it clear I'm sure most people understand when they've swallowed something down the wrong pipe and it's it's pretty pronounced how they cough and I would do that for 15 20 minutes to a half hour trying to get it clear feeling like I, I couldn't couldn't get it clear so it was many times when I felt it coming on I would simply leave because nobody wants to witness that um, and the medications that they would put me on would would knock me out or make me feel drowsy and, and disoriented all the time so I didn't like medication but I would do some other things to help calm it down and then we worked on this almost two years ago and there has not been one instance since then well i remember working on it and there was a, a cough that was coming up just about every time there's any emotional issue showed up here came your cough pretty much okay and, and what we kept... people saw on that mystery issue was very very mild compared to when it would build up and really show itself so um, that little cough was just a minor instance compared to what it had a tendency to turn into as the emotional issue es escalated it would just escalate as well and as i recall it i don't think we you and i were working together on this and you were also working on your own with the unseen therapist in our immersification process and all of that um but as i recall it when you and i were working together we never aimed ever at the numb hands or um, um the, the 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 asthma the coughing we didn't aim at the direct symptom we just aimed at underlying emotional issues right which we thought but, were caught well it was interesting yeah. too because as you helped me understand when it started what were the situations and then the cough happened it 
it really made me tune into some things that I was reacting to, maybe something somebody said, and then, you know, shortly after that, I'd start coughing and have to deal with it the rest of the day. So it, it pointed out, okay, to take a look at those things just before it started, and then what, what was agitating me, what was bothering me with that, that I ended up with a cough. So being able to take a look at it that way, we really didn't work on the cough itself, but as you and I were working, as we touched on some things, it would show up and say, okay, you know, there's something else there to work on. Um, yes. And I also, we also discovered I had a kind of a resistance to getting through it. And that took quite a bit of work in order to break through that resistance. And once I broke through the resistance, gone. Yeah, that, and that resistance is a form of what we call in the more advanced areas of optimal EFT unseen therapist, putting stuff on the table, you know, but once right. it's on the table, you know, you, you have a high degree of success in that case. So that brings me sort of to a, a segue uh, for what I'm calling impossible healings. That is, I, I defined it because we get so many of these with unseen therapists. It is healings uh, that occur outside the typical reach, beyond the typical reach right. of man-made methods. Now, for these various things, I don't know what you, I forgot what you did for, for the, hand. uh, the hands, but for the, for, the, for the asthma, you said you were taking a lot of medications, et cetera, et cetera. So whatever you were doing didn't work, right? No, no it did uh. not work. And the hands have gotten tremendously better. It is, it's extremely rare now when, when I feel it, I'm able to drive now without any problems. And, and even though it's, it is spotty and not as severe, you know, I would say they're 90% better with just continually working on my clearing out my stuff. Yeah. And, the hands and, for, and I think you said the bronchial asthma gone now for two years, no yes. medication involved. No, none. Okay. All right. Well, that qualifies as impossible. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So. Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah, I would agree with you. <laughs>